Complete the tasks I've given you, and then meet me in my classroom to learn Defindo, the severing charm. It's typically used to cut an object, but can be a powerful weapon when needed. Didn't we get Defendo? Isn't that just this? Yeah, I already have it. I've not forgotten about our library. Okay, teacher. anyway. How did you fare? If you're keen for some illicit spell practice, meet me outside the Defense Against the Dark Arts classroom. I know a discreet place near there. Alright. It just gives you all the rundowns of everything. Alright. As soon as you can. I have an idea of somewhere you can focus on your studies. Yeah, see, so it's, it's kind of just giving me everything that happened. I guess since I haven't left the room, it didn't update. All right, so that's nice. So welcome back, everybody, to Hogwarts Legacy. Uh, as usual, just kind of chilling, shooting the shit. I'm enjoying it. I think it's been pretty good. So what I'd like to maybe do is eventually be able to get, like, a growing system going on in here. Uh, I'd like to be able to get, like, a bunch of different C... Oh, here we go. Hold on. I, I can't move. That was interesting. I'd like to get maybe, like, seeds and stuff, and then I could brew potions and just sit around and chill and do that. Temperature depicts the wizard Barnabas the Barmy's foolish attempt to train trolls for the ballet. Uh, one can only imagine the impact on the arts had he succeeded. Uh, yeah, but I think they had a huge impact on him. Oh, he's fine, see? Okay, anyway. What was that? Oh, okay, the rumor requirement opens like that, I see. Alright. So where's the treasure Look here, idea. specifically? Is it down, maybe? Yeah, okay. I don't think we've been in the astronomy tower that much, so... It's, like, right here. You know what it is? There's probably, like, a way around to get to it. Which I am not keen to. Yeah, see, we've been here before. Did we open this door? Oh, no, here we go. Here's another door. Uh... So, dice one has to be... I guess this is a goat. And then die two has to be... The unicorn is a one. That's a four, so it has to be a seven. And a seven is... I guess that's an... I have no idea. What is this supposed to be? Again, it's like the Mandalorian symbol. Hi, right, let me roll this next to your head. Thank you. Anyway. <laughs> oh no, I changed this by accident. What? Dude, the, the square prompts are all overlapping. I don't want this. I, I hate cats. Go away. Go, go scratch something. I, I can't. Can I scare the cat away? There you go. You gotta throw some catnip or something. Alright, open. Open salami. Now that I know how to open these, I'm going to be really sad when we run out of things to open. Desk. Revelio. I guess that's it. Okay, what about in here? Okay, now we need to be able to lockpick. Alright, so that's like a ways away. We have to figure out how to lockpick and do other things. Oop. There you go. I'm only missing, I guess, five pages flying around. Okay. Oh, oops. I'm definitely gonna switch this up. I'm gonna, I, I want to learn more spells. In fact, do we? What do we even have next for things to do? In the shadow of the Undercroft. That's actually our main story. What else? Yep. That, that's actually it. Okay. This is the only thing to do. Required level of eight. So I guess what level were you supposed to be for the Jackdaw quest? Because I, I was pretty high. I guess I'm pretty high for most things in the story, except for those couple enemies that showed up. <clears throat> How nice to see you, my young friend. Uh, down. What about this? This is defense against the dark arts, right? This is something at least. Anything in here? Rebellion. Chest. I like how stealing is like a, a second-handed thing. Arrow, pink swirl. I think it's a wand handle. Ah, you know, this is not bad. Yeah, it's got a nice design on it or something. Like, I like purple. I wish this was in, in, in violet or, like, purple or something. Indigo. All right, I'll put it on. Sure. It, it kind of matches the red of who's man's, so. Can I jump off of things, like, here? 
I wonder if that hurts. No. Ah. They're not going to make it that cartoonish. <laughs> Rebellion. I guess I already inspected him. Yeah, finding everything to inspect oh, must be like an actual chore, you know? Oh, shit. Okay. I will take the room of requirement stuff off once I get enough spells to do so. Just right now, I don't have enough spells. Okay. What was that? There you go. Don't mind me just inspecting the women's restroom. You know, the usual. Alright, he's down here. Yeah, what I'm thinking is that we pull them, we put them on fire. No, I think we have to lift them first. Hit, hit, pull, fire, and a couple more. So I'm thinking I might move Accio back to square. And then as we push them away, you know, maybe freeze time, defendo, something like that. Like, we get a combo going where I go one, two, you know, I can go around, I guess. So I'll, I'll move some stuff around as we get points. Oh, she looks like she's having fun. Look at this. Any Rebellion. art? Or, I'm sorry, any notes? I guess not. Damn, he's still further down. Okay. Hmm. I've always said that travel. All right. It's time for some illicit spell crow. Oh, shit, dude. Over here. <laughs> Don't sneak up on me like that. <laughs> Sebastian, it's been a while. It has. Glad you received my owl. I have something to show you. First, let me thank you for what you did in the library. Of course. Scribner tried to give me detention. Yeah, it wasn't a big deal. But I have ways out Fuck of these things. Fuck that old coot. Well, you took the fall for me. And that counts for something. Did you find what you were looking for? I did. But something was missing. I'm not sure here is the best place to discuss it. Understood. We can talk more in a moment. In the Undercroft. Not even the professors know about yeah, this place. Yeah, sure. X. This way. Okay. You know, I will say at least one of the good, good things is that There's we have a, a crew of people that are all from different here. houses. It's well so ironically, I'm doing what I wish Harry Potter had done, you know? Because if I was just in the same house, it would be bland. So Ravenclaw was definitely the way to go. All right, the Undercroft. Nope, it flipped my, uh, my robe. What was the room that they were training in for book place? five? My friend, Ominous Gaunt. He named it the Undercroft. We used to play gobstones here all the time. With my sister, Anne. She loved that infernal game. What I wouldn't give to lose to her again. Rebellion. I should tell you, I swore to Ominous I would safeguard this place. So please, keep this between us. Yeah, sure. He never confides in anyone. But he's trusted me since the day we met. I wouldn't Your want to slots are full. That. Okay. We used to sneak in here almost daily. We've never been caught. Okay, so it's like a secret hideout. Which is funny, we just got a secret hideout in the room of requirement. Uh, okay, well I gotta I gotta come back. I gotta sell some stuff. I don't even know if there's any like vendors on school grounds. I think I've seen ominous in potions. Or was it herbology? I've noticed that he uses his wand to navigate the castle. He does. No idea how, though. Oh, Ominous he's blind. blind and okay. no spell could reverse it. His wand seems almost sentient. Not surprising, I suppose. Ollivander always says, the wand chooses the wizard. Is that how he found this place? No, someone in his family knew about it. The Gaunts are full of secrets. I've never heard anyone else the speak gaunt. of it. And I've certainly okay. never seen anyone else here. Again. Mention this to no one, especially Ominous. He has no love lost for his family or their secrets. But this place is special to him. Understood. But why does Ominous have no love lost for his family? His father's family are direct descendants of Salazar Slytherin, one of the four founders of Hogwarts. Okay, so what's the Obsessed problem? Obsessed with blood status, most oh, of them. Oh, okay. Ominous cannot abide them, as he'll be the first to tell you. Anyway... 
The Undercroft has been a perfect place to sneak off to, away from prying eyes, and even practice otherwise forbidden spells. Really? Like what? Like the Blasting Curse. Uh oh. Professors say it's not an appropriate spell to teach. But I students. say fuck that. Blow it up. That's ridiculous. A proper magical education ought to include all. Yeah, my I want to know exactly. A spell like Confringo is only truly dangerous in untrained hands. Such spells should be properly taught, not banned. To be fair, I'm admittedly partial to more fiery forms of magic, but you should learn it. I can teach it to you safely here. Okay. Confringo. It may take a while to get the feel for it. Mimic my wand movement. The incantation is Confringo. Very well. It's a Z. Alright. Oh shit. Yeah, they're pretty good about it. Alright. Confringo. You're getting it. Ready to actually try it out? Uh, well, yeah, sure. Uh, I guess we could... I didn't want to put it there, but that's fine. We'll just leave it on there for now. We'll just have damage on this. All right, Confringo. Best to keep the undercross intact. Okay, what targets do we have? Certain targets can alter its effect on enemies. Okay, so this is how we hit that far away... Uh, that far away thing at the top of the grand staircase. Gotcha. Well done. Okay. I have to say, I enjoyed that. The first time Ominous and I practiced Confringo, we singed our eyebrows. <laughs> I would have paid to see that. I swore we'd never live it down. So this day, there's something about that spell that's addictive. Yeah, I love dark magic. I'm ready. This is exactly the type of magic I've been hoping to learn. There's more where that came from. I've been practicing similar spells here for ages. Although... I didn't tell Anne and Ominous about every one. Haven't been here in some time. It's not the same without Anne. I'm sorry about your sister. If there's anything I can do. Perhaps when I next head to Felcroft, you could come along. Okay. Meet Anne. She could use some cheering up. Yeah, sure. If Just you want. Just let me know when and I'll meet you. Oh, she misses Hogwarts. She's been stuck at home with our guardian, Uncle Solomon. Unfortunately, you'll have to meet him too. Well, meeting a new student will be precisely what she needs. I shall look forward to it. Cheers. By the way, what was it you couldn't discuss out in the hall earlier? I'm not sure where to start. You said yeah, something how much time do you have? from what you found in the library. Might it have something to do with Victor Rookwood? He didn't mistake you for someone else at all in Hogsmeade, did he? Nothing gets past you. I'll tell you what I can. Rookwood. Alright, so we just tell everybody at this point. Something they think I took from <laughs> a vault in Gringotts. Gringotts? When were you there? Professor Fig and I wound up there after the dragon attack. There was this port key that. A port key? To Gringotts? Well, it's all a bit convoluted. I'm listening. Sure, fuck you it. You must promise to keep this between us. I don't I think this will really matter that much. Yeah. Undercroft. You can trust me. Alright. I can see traces of ancient magic. Ancient magic? I don't know what I was expecting you to say, but it wasn't... This is just so gonna bite me in the ass later. <laughs> what does that even mean? Honestly, I'm not entirely certain. You were supposed to keep it between us! I can see whispers of an old magic that hardly anyone else can. Fig and I think that Ranrock has somehow found a way to harness that magic's power. Are you telling me that goblins may be wielding some sort of wizard magic? That's what we're trying to find out. And this ability of yours... Does this allow you to wield this magic too? I... Uh, yes, I but, don't you know. know. Well, when you do know, tell me. I've been studying... I like this dude. This is the bro right ages. here. Perhaps we can help each other. In the meantime, with both Rookwood and Ranrock after you, I suspect a bit more time practicing the blasting curses in order. Spend as much time here as you'd like. And remember, keep this place between us. Well, I already broke one secret to get this I one, so... Feldcroft, I'll send you an All right, we're done here. So, for Confringo... Expelliarmus is a disarm. It's also damage, right? Even if they do not carry a weapon. Yeah, it's just free damage, basically. Okay. Slashes enemies. Long-range bolt. Enemies hit by... Well, 
burn. So what's the difference between this and incendio? This range is short and requires you to be close to the target. Deal significant damage. Enemies hit with it will continue to burn, during which time collisions will result in incendiary bursts. So this is like, I guess, a single target. It's a long-range attack. So you get some fire. You know, pretty good. This is just a blast. Okay. They got, like, all the all the usual ones, I guess. wonder what spells from the movies are... What? Not available. Okay. No. <laughs> Going back up. Hello, Sebastian. Wait. Hi. You there. I can hear you. Oh, hello. Ominous, isn't it? I believe we have potions together. And... Herbology? I recognize that voice. Heard you talking to Gareth Weasley and... Ah, oh, this is Flash. bad. Uh, we need You're to go get Sebastian. Christian. Did you just come from the Undercroft? How did you get in there? <sighs> Do I lie to him? Yeah, whatever. Actually, Sebastian brought me there. But he made it perfectly clear to keep quiet about it. That rat! You breathe a word about this place to anyone, and not even your precious Professor Fig will be able to help you. My father is friends with the headmaster, and I'm not oh, afraid of course. to Great. that connection if I need to. Yeah, no, trust I'm good. Trust me, Ominous. I won't say a word. Why should I trust you? You just betrayed Sebastian. Eh, Please. Fair. I was trying to defend him. He was clear that this was a secret place, and I was to tell no one. He's a good friend. I don't need you to tell me about my oldest friend. Thank you very much. Ominous, I just meant... I know what you meant. Sebastian gets himself in enough trouble. He doesn't need your help. All right. Anyway. Sebastian is going to get an earful about Yeah, him. he is. <laughs> oh, wait. Here you go. Here's a key. What the fuck? I don't even know where it just went. You can't imagine how inconvenient travel was before I came. Okay, do we get it? As soon as you All right, can. here we go. I've returned from a rather unproductive trip to the ministry, hoping your time has been more fruitful than mine. Uh, no, not really. We can pretend. All right, where's the key going? I guess what I could do is I could wait and see if the key comes back. Okay. Wait, what? Time didn't pass. Professor Garlic's assignment. Okay. Leviosa. It can be used to levitate objects for a short time. Once you've completed a few prerequisite tasks, do see me after class. All right, sure. So let's see. What what is it? What can I do to? I don't think I can make myself levitate. Oh, I need to have a store. Uh, where is it? Acquire and use a venomous tentacula. Acquire and use a mandric on multiple enemies simultaneously. All right, so I just need to get one and one. I don't really want to buy them though. Oh my exams. Not a one of them deserves more than a T. Do we open this? No, we didn't. Okay. Thank you. It's just money. I'm just going to use that to buy the plants I need and then just drop them. The Mandrake one could be a little tricky. I got to remember to save before I try it. Uh, wait, where was the key again? I think it was down there. I don't, I don't know. It might take a while for it to come back. Yeah. I don't know. Sometimes it seems kind of random when and how they show up. I might have to, like, completely reload the map because I have no clue where it went. This looks like a fake, like a fake wall. Get struck by a cursed broom. We do hope it's you. 
They have an Iron Maiden just chilling? Alright, that's a little uh, occultish. Alright, let's just do the story. We'll, we'll have to come back here and remember later that we can we can do this. Or I guess what we could do is we could enter the Undercroft and then immediately exit it and see if that respawns the key. Let's see. Because that probably reloads the entire map. It's probably not like a distance thing. It always like ruffles my rope. Look at that. It's a side apron now. Anything else in here? Now no one's here. That's just spooky. Oh yeah, I could loot that. I'll, I'll come back later. So I guess what you could do is you could like fight and hit dummies here, basically. And obviously this is some kind of door for later, I guess. Alright, but I am kind of interested in seeing where the whole plot line with... with uh, not Rackham, but Percival goes. Oh, no, no, yeah, Rackham. Yeah, Percival Rackham. Watch. He's going to lose the book. Oh, I left it somewhere. I forgot. Silly me. You know how things are in your old age. Yeah, I don't know. I don't think this key is coming back. Oh, no, here it is. What? I guess not. I, I could have sworn I saw, like, a, a piece of it. Rebellion. Something here? Yes. Serpentine Beast Window. Servants like to think this window is somehow a tribute to their house founder. It's actually a Serpentine Beast quarter on a tree that extends from the mouth of the legendary Green Man. Alright, whatever. Uh, which way is it? Up. I feel like the only uh, chests that might be remaining are going to be chests that I have to interact with using lockpick. I don't think there's any more, like, numbers, chest pieces. I feel like we already did enough of that. I could be wrong, but I kind of feel like it's already done and done. Alright. Oh, you know what I have to do. Wait, actually, what do I do with this? It's obvious that there's some kind of charm that you can use on this. Okay. I don't think I have enough. I have to figure out a way. Maybe I can, like, push it or pull it or something. Alright. I was hoping to see you. Here I am. You're back. Finally. Minister Spavin talks more than he listens. Ranted on and on about rogue dragons. Wouldn't listen to a word about goblins. Speaking of which... Listen, Professor. So much happened while you were away. Your friend, Mr. Ollivander, sent me an owl asking for help finding an heirloom wand that was stolen from him. He did, did he? And so I went to the owlery, like he said. And there were all these statues. What do you mean, statues? In the yeah, I'm getting to yes. it. Don't worry. Which led me to a secret hideout where I found Richard Jackdaw's ghost. Who on earth is <laughs> Richard Jackdaw? He was a student here long ago. Anyway, he told me about a secret cavern. I went there, and right next to Jackdaw's skeleton, I found the missing pages. You found the pages? I did. And because Jackdaw had followed the map they contained, when I found the pages, I found the location on the map. Believe it or not... It's a room below Hogwarts. Why am I not surprised? Shall we? I was hoping you'd say that. Oh, and we'll need to bring the book. Y you have the book, right? Oh, okay. I was expecting some the twist with that man. Chamber, by the way. Oh my god. And the portrait of Percival Rackham awaits us there. Professor Rackham. I look forward to meeting him. How did this Jackdaw get the pages from the book? Evidently, Peeves stole them, and Jackdaw stole them from him. Oh, Peeves. All right. Oh, you two seem ready for adventure. Yeah, that's why fast travel's not around. <laughs> to think it was beneath us all this time. 
Yeah, no one has any idea what's down here, do they? So maybe we'll wait the rest of them. A map. There's Hogsmeade. And over here, the Forbidden Forest. And, of course, Hogwarts. It's magnificent. Yeah, they're gone, I guess. If only you were here to see this. Yeah, his wife literally died for this, sadly. Alright. Oh no, they're back. Hello, Professor Rackham. <laughs> We've placed the book on oh, the Oh damn, it took long enough. And this is my mentor, Professor Fig. How do you do, Professor Fig? And you, my young friend. See now why you needed to return with the book? I do. I also see why you refer to this room as the map chamber. That you have come this far tells me that you possess extraordinary magical ability. The potential and power of which will unlock should you prove yourself worthy. The location of each of four trials will, in time, appear on the map. Trials that will test you and give you access to invaluable knowledge. Trials that you must complete on your own. Do you recall the pensive memory you viewed in my vaulting Gringotts? Uh, sure. You and your friend Charles spoke yeah. of the port key and of trials you That's where he took the thing out of his head. He took the memory out. Magic. Precisely. Charles is another of the keepers, a designation we gave ourselves centuries ago in light of the knowledge that we have been bound to keep hidden. Until perhaps now. So, the passage from your ruins to Gringotts Everything in the vault, the restricted section, finding this room, none of these was a trial. They were an important part of the journey, but they were not trials themselves. Oh, we're just beginning. The fact that you have come this far, however, bodes well. The trials were designed to ensure that the power and knowledge we have kept secret for so long does not fall into the wrong hands. They will test your abilities, both innate and learned. But of equal importance, everything you witness as you complete the trials will inform what you choose to do with all that we share. You will need patience. The trials have much to teach you. It will take time. Right, so I wonder if they're like dungeons. I'm afraid we don't have the luxury of time. We have waited this long, Professor Fig. Surely a few more. Respectfully, sir, while I do not know the secret you keep, I do know that our young friend here has seen traces. Traces of a powerful dark magic being wielded by goblin kind. And we encountered an uncommonly powerful goblin wielding such magic as we prepared to leave your vault at Gringotts. We may already be too late. This is grave news indeed. Young friend, do you trust Professor Fig? I do. Then, in the light of your considerable skill and all you have already All right, so we're just going right to we it. Shall Let's begin. do it. You will find the location of the first trial marked on the map below you. Whilst Professor Fig may assist you in locating the trials, they may be completed only by one with our ability. Okay, so he can help us, but can only to get to it. I guess it's this big glowing tower. I know that tower. <laughs> it's not far. Well, they made this one pretty you obvious. Have Damn. Seen it yourself. Uh. 
I don't know. It looks familiar. <laughs> Perhaps your young friend is more well-traveled than you might think. As your mentor, the least I can do is I'm go going to pretend like I know what it is safe. and fill in the blanks Join later. Join me as soon as you can. You said that you know that tower. What can you tell me about it? Not much, I'm afraid. I've passed it dozens of times. It's north of Hogsmeade. Ah, oh, we gotta go far. My okay. My is that it seems abandoned. Clearly, however, the tower conceals more than meets the eye. All right, sounds good. I'll find you at the tower as soon as I can. Until then, be careful, and do not tell anyone where you're going. Hey, okay, sure, sounds good. So this is Hogwarts, right? That's the Quidditch place, so that means that Hogsmeade's over here. Like, this is kind of like a rough estimate of what the world map looks like, right? You have the Big River South, things like that. So there's a town to the south? It's time you learned, Iglesias, the freezing spell. It is an efficient Why are you... way to cool down a heat. Why are you teaching it? But first, I will need you to complete a few tasks. Once you've done that, come and see me. The hell? Why is the Quidditch teacher teaching me how to freeze things? I'm not saying she can't know it. It's just, I don't know. It seems weird. What are you up to now? Surprised there's no, like, dialogue. Look, he's just out of here. He's just like, well, I'm a Fallout NPC now. I don't care. See ya. <laughs> he really just is like, ah, well, nothing to say. I'm going back to bed. We didn't leave the book down there, did we? Could you imagine if that was, like, a, a big thing to do in, like, a choice-based game? Like, if you left the book or something important, and then, like, later on someone else finds it, and he, like, fucks you out of, like, the best ending, because it's like, oh, no, you didn't take the book! Okay, he's just gonna walk. Uh, I'm gonna run. I mean, I guess the one thing that I could do is, let's see what the, uh... Okay, we do have a talent. We're actually about to level up again. I'm thinking I'm gonna keep upgrading stealth, if I'm being completely honest, and the reason why... Is because Emmy's ability to detect you. Petrificus Totalis will do a stealth takedown on multiple enemies. All right, let's upgrade stealth. So now our ability to, to sneak around could not be better. Enduring Curse. Strike an enemy cursed by Crucio. Yeah, so I guess at some point we're going to learn the curses. Yeah, and then Avada Kedavra insta-kills everything. Yeah, so we have to get Flipendo. So that's that's going to be what it really is, is, I guess, pushing and pulling and figuring out how you can keep enemies in the air juggled, for the most part. I'm going to cast Slice through Impacted Enemies. Depulso reduces an additional blast... Confringo impacts produce fiery bolts that will automatically seek out enemy targets. And then group levitate, which might be good. All that's good. All the spells are good now. Okay, so that's probably what we'll do next. Is We'll hit up all the different spells. Pop balloons over Hogsmeade Station and pop balloons around the Quidditch pitch. I mean, that, that seems pretty easy, right? It doesn't have to be in a, you know as a part of like a challenge or something. Freezes enemies, increasing the damage they take from follow-up attacks. Alright, let's do that then. So, Hogsmeade. It has to be around Hogsmeade, specifically. Okay. Summoner's Court. Alright, let's go do this first. There we go, like these over here. How to, dude. There you go. I gotta get my like 3D navigation set up. It's been a while since I've done that. Was that three? Here's, here's four. I was never really that great at flying in midair. 
in most games. There we go, that's one. Okay, so I guess we need to go to Hogsmeade for a bit just to drop off some items, you know, get some money or whatever. And then I guess after that, we have to go deep into the Forbidden Forest, right? Because right now we're just sort of flying over places we've already been, you know? At least it'll make traveling a, a lot faster than walking. You know how flying mounts are in a lot of games. Usually you don't get them until way late, you know, if ever. It's one thing I would like if, you know, hypothetically there was like a Kingdoms of Amalur sequel. Is to be able to like fly around and, you know, do other stuff. It would be cool. It wouldn't be super necessary, but it would be interesting, you know, if you have a big world to move around on a mount. It's sometimes fun. It's like a, it's like a good feeling of reward. Okay, yeah, you're right. I can't enter. So it's, it's a round Hogsmeade, though. Hogsmeade, here I come. I, I really have no idea where they are. Ah, I guess it's these. Yeah, that's why they're here, just in the middle of nowhere. I remember, I was looking at them before. Technically, this is part of Hogsmeade. It's the station, I guess, that all the first years come in, and then they go across the ocean or whatever. Or, the, not the ocean, the, the lake. Everyone knows that scene. It's, like, iconic. That whole first movie is just, like... You know, you don't know what it really is? It's, it's, that, it's dated, but in a good way, you know? It's like watching like a classic movie from like, you know, 20, 30 years ago. You, you just you just know in your mind that it was just a different era. This, that's because that's the wall for the the, era, the map. You just know in your mind like it's it's just different. It was a different time with with different things. The movie standards were different, you know. That's what makes it really cool. This is it's like a blast from the. It's like, it's got that good amount of nostalgia, even though I've seen that movie. So many times when I was a kid, and now I don't remember any of it. I'm trying to find this last balloon. It's got that, that nice OG nostalgia. There it is. Brilliant. Alright, we leveled up. So now we can actually uh, go tutor, I'm assuming. Yep. Let's spend our talent. Uh, what about our core talents? We could get the final... The final spell set. Enemy struck by stupefy remains stunned for a longer period of time. Successfully evading unblockable contributes to the ancient magic. Blocking a perfect Protego. Basic cast impacts airborne enemies contribute more. Okay. Uh, the range of Revelio would also be a good one. I don't know about this fast dodge. Uh, what do you think? Maybe the final spell set? So that way I can... Yeah, I think I'm going to get this. I know it seems a little bit wasteful, but I'm going to get the final spell set. So that way I can move a bunch of stuff off of... I can't do it while flying. Whoops. Alright, so let, let's go back to Madame Kagawa. That way I can have everything start to kind of fall into place. Right? I want I want to get my basic combo going on, you know? So I think it has to begin with Leviosa. Oh yeah, I don't think you can fly on Hogwarts grounds. Maybe outdoors. I don't know about indoors. Yeah, okay, you can. Uh, okay. There we go. Clearly, you never sleep. How did you get on with those tasks? You already know. Madam Kagawa, I completed the list of tasks you assigned. Wonderful. I trust you became more familiar with your broom through the process? I did, yeah. Yes, Professor. That's good to hear. Keep it up, and perhaps one day you'll have a spot on the Quidditch team. The Quidditch team we will never have, <laughs> yeah. Let's Quidditch again. Well, with those tasks out of the way, let us get started. Glacius. 
Pay attention to your <laughs> It's a mountain. <laughs> Whoop. Was that the first circle? I think that was a circle prom, right? I pressed I didn't even think about it. Alright, Glacius. Well done. I recommend that you practice your new spell here in my office before taking it out into the world. Alright. It's a control spell. I, I don't know about transformation. I think this is definitely going to be one to not get. Descenda will be the one to end the combo, right? So, like, I don't know about right now. I think maybe later we could try, you know, do, putting moving stuff around. We'll put it over there for now. Uh, oops, I didn't mean to do that. Okay. So what do you think? I'm going to start with up, rep, and down. So that means I need to replicate this one over here. And then we don't really care about the rest of that. Can you unassign? I don't know if you can. I don't think you can. Alright, so we have what? Eight spells? So we only have two things worth of abilities right now. Oops. Uh, I mean, it doesn't really matter. So, so hypothetically, right? If I want to start a combo, it would probably begin with Leviosa, right? Leviosa, you have Accio, which pulls you. Depulso, you probably Depulso. How far, how fast does it push things away? Pretty fast, right? So can you Depulso into like Arresto Momentum? Maybe you push this first and then that's how you Depulse people away. Okay. So you pull them close. Uh, maybe Disarm will come later. In the combo. Yeah, Incendio. Defendo. Okay, this is going to be really hard for me to get used to. Whoop. <laughs> All right, cool. Thanks for the loot. Ah, oh, my gear, dude! I forgot to drop in real quick. Um, Kagawa, well, marvelous news! You'll be joining the faculty at Hogwarts as our new flying instructor. I dare say our work together at Hogwarts will be less than eventful. There are time near Yokohama Harbor, though one never knows. Matilda Weasley. Okay, so they're like old friends. Gotcha. All right, see ya. All right, so we can fast travel out. We don't have to do Summoner's Court yet. Uh, go to Hogsmeade. Does it get any more cozy than Hogsmeade? Thank you again for delivering those potions to Madame Lawen. Save me a lot of time and trouble. Sure, no problem. What can I do for you today? All right, pretty much anything. I mean, does it really matter? We could just get rid of most of these things. I don't even know if you can upgrade equipment. That seems like something that might come about later. So I could probably get rid of that. Leather gloves. I think we have the best outfit on anyway. Uh, this is, I guess, neutral. Yeah. Also, I think it might have been Ash uh, leaving a comment, but I'm pretty sure someone told me that you keep all of your, like, glamour options. You keep all of it, so you don't need to hold on to any gear that you're not wearing. You're just only keeping the best gear on. So we could just sell most things, right? We don't. It doesn't really matter then. I hope to see you again. Farewell for now. Okay, in which case, let's see. 37, 37 cannot upgrade. All right, what, what the hell? <laughs> okay, I think I'll, uh, I'll put on my mask again. Thank you very much. It's gonna be the most unique part of my character is wearing this mermaid mask the whole time. All right, Professor Garlic's thing is to acquire and use a venomous tentacula and then use a mandrake. Alright, so we're going to do uh, 
this dude's trial, but first we're gonna go buy the plants. I forget who you can buy them from here. Lock. Look at that parkour. It's magnificent. Oh, this is the graveyard. Oops. Okay, I have to remember that. It's that. Okay. There's no, like, pause time to swap your, your bars. Yeah. Okay. So we... What is it? We levitate. We levitate. We, we hit him maybe a little bit. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of figuring this out. We levitate. We disarm them, right? That makes sense. Then we pull them. We set them on fire. I don't know how freeze works in midair. Maybe I might want to change freeze to something else. Maybe I'll change freeze to um, arresto momentum. And then that way I could arresto momentum, hit them with fire, push them away... Or, you know, maybe then hit them with Defendo, push them away. And then I'm guessing that the last couple of abilities that I'll have to use are going to be Flipendo to spend them. I guess Bombarda, right? Glacius to freeze them. So we'll spin them, we'll freeze them, and then we'll slam them to the ground for the big, like, 12 move finisher, basically. And then the last one will be. A, oops, I didn't mean to do that, but it doesn't really matter for this one. The last one will be as as needed over here. We we're gonna get Wingardium Leviosa. Oh, but that's right, Advada Kedavra. Okay, maybe I won't use all of these. Yeah, I don't know about damage over time. Yeah, I don't know about Imperio and damage over time. I guess maybe we'll just have Avada Kedavra, right? Because that that's what. I guess we won't use Bombarda. I kind of want to use Flipendo. And obviously the slam. Yeah, I don't know. Well, I guess we'll, we'll we'll see how it works. Maybe Incendio just isn't that good. Because it has to be close range. So maybe I'll replace that with Bombarda instead. Alright, well, well, we'll figure it out. That's why I kind of wish it wasn't a normal spell. I wish the killing, the unforgivable curses were a little bit separated from uh, everything. I don't know. I'll be with you in just a minute. Okay. Well... What say we show you some of what's available? 500 and 600, okay. Oh, I'm always thrilled when a young one makes a wise purchase. Yeah, it's wise because you bought for me. All right, so you have to wait for two or more enemies. Let's save here. Uh, settings. Very nice. Lead to Hogsmeade. I have to wait till I can get out. Hey, I, gotta, I gotta go a little more, you know, get out of town. Whoa, for real? Why is there a page out here? Okay, that was the last page. There we go. Alright, so we've never been out this way. Yeah, not yet. So we're finally going north. So I guess what we can do is we could just like fly around and explore a little bit of this. Almost looks like there's stuff over here maybe we'll be able to get to. It seems like it's a little bit off of the map, though, so I don't know. It could just be stuff out there, you know? Alright. This is cool. This is We're finally getting places. Doing things, getting places. I think that was a, a New Vegas, like, challenge, right? They called it challenges in those games. There you go. <laughs> Unfortunately, nothing seems to live long enough for me to use most of my combos. I wonder if I'm just supposed to only just not use any basic casts. Yeah, see? Like, I already killed it. <laughs> this thing is just way off in the distance. You can't even see it. Alright. 
I can see me. Yeah, see, they're cursed. Alright, thank you. Here's a Merlin trial. Bah! Indeed. What happened to like the big tree that like they they had to like drive the car into? I know a Merlin trial when I see one. It's not in this game. Hasn't been planted yet, probably. Yeah, so we can use Confringo now for these. So it shall be done. Ah, uh, whoops. Okay, I need to find all of them first. We have one. We have two. We have some gold. <laughs> and we have three, okay. So you actually really kind of can't complete that just by standing there. Oh, okay, shit. There we go. Okay, so we probably shoot it from up here. I'm stuck. Oh, you can shoot that, I see. Not so tricky after there you all, go. Merlin. <laughs> See, I was thinking that most of those you could just stand right there and just do nothing, basically. I mean, like, you could see it from this spot in general, but not really. Okay. I guess the other thing that I probably should do, since it's been a while, is we can open up all the things that we've done for challenges, right? So we have a lickety swift broom. Here you go, the Night Dancer Room. Oh, that, no, okay, that's coming up. Okay, this is also coming up. These are all lock challenges. Legendary Armored Attire. A Legendary Mask. I, I don't know about that one. Top of the Class Ensemble. Top of the Class Cloak for completing assignments. Okay, we're getting there. Lucky Leprechaun Gloves. Amphibial Protection. Okay, so those are like charms. Dragon Eye Protector. This is defeat a bunch of these. Spider Slayer. Spider Slayer Helmet. Oh my god. No, I'm not doing that. We're not going to walk around with that on. I'm, I'm, that would be a little crazy. I'm okay. Regalia things are pretty okay. At least the gloves do. I think there's a red outfit that will look really good coming up. I just have to wait. So, okay. They're only 16%, so... I'm sure if you knuckle down and once you have everything unlocked, it won't be as hard, you know? It won't be as ridiculous. Yeah, those are some good red gloves. Yeah. What do you think? The black rivet? Nah, that's a little too dark. Where's uh where's the juniper? Was it up here? Wait, what happened to the Oh here we go. Oh my god. I was about to say, no, I've been I've been lied to. <laughs> no, we're good. Okay. Uh, 
Are there any other enemies? Yeah, there's some over here. The big thing I'm going to do is try to get the flu powder. Or was it the flu flame? Sorry. I believe you are ready to learn. Oh my god. <laughs> the slowing charm. It allows you to freeze objects or people in midair. Well, not yet. We'll do it later. And then come and see me. The hell is this? What? What kind of crazy pattern on a cat is this? It's like one of those moon cookies. Okay. Hi. Off on another adventure. What seems to be the problem? You may well ask. I'm convinced I well, someone just busted room. into my house and asked me what's the problem. Death. That's the problem. Not safe. But if it can't see me, I'll be all right, won't I? All I need is an invisibility potion. Yes, that's what I need. All right. I'm afraid I'm all out of invisibility potion. I suggest finding somewhere safe and being especially careful. Safe? Careful? Yes, that makes sense. And you're sure you don't know very well. She's crazy. Okay, good to know. Hopefully the Grim, or whatever it has foretold, doesn't get me froze. I kind of want to fight this. A bunch of burning enemy into another with Depulso? Dude, I'm not a I'm not a miracle worker. Uh yeah, that didn't work out. <laughs> he died. He fell off the cliff. Yeah, Confringo has a lot of knockback power. But I do kind of want to learn a resto momentum. Now that could be helpful if you know you're you're doing Quidditch. Maybe you get like knocked off your broom. Obviously, you don't want to slam into the ground and snap your neck. You cast a resto momentum and you're fine. So that I could understand. Glacius, I don't know why that would help you, but whatever. What else do we got out here? Just, just, uh, merely spitting it aloud, you know, nothing major. A castle. Must have been quite stately in its time. The fuck is that? I set my traps. Oh, shit. Hogwarts is very lucky they've got a pretty Accio! Incendio! Leviosa! Slippery! Depulsa! Wait, what? Why can't I hit this dude? Laura Treadwell's guardian angel. Alright, see ya. It doesn't really do a lot of damage. Potato! Stupid one! Nothing more than luck! Stupid one! Accio! Incendio! Fine. It just burns. Okay, anyway. Yeah, see, nothing really lives long. I mean, you might not even get to make combos that ridiculously. So maybe instead of doing that, what I could maybe do is have a couple of different combos, you know, to... I don't think I'm going to get to do, like, a 12-hit combo, you know, like, pushing, pulling. So maybe what will make more sense is maybe, like, to have one with Leviosa and one with the other four. And then it varies based on what kind of enemy I'm facing. So if it's, like, a heavy enemy that I can't levitate... You know, maybe... Oh, well, I guess you're screwed, huh? Oh, well, life sucks. Uh, maybe I'll, I'll mix it up and I'll try something different. So that, that also could work. We just have different things depending on what type of enemy we're facing. Uh, maybe it's just this game is a little bit more... That doesn't sound good. Maybe this game is just a little bit more simplified than what I'm trying to push onto it. You know what I mean? Like, we're not playing, like, Arkham City, right? We're playing a, a much simpler game. Akio. On, see, it literally exploded. You know, is simply too many. What was down here? Fucking zombies for real? Oh no, I'm sorry. And fairy is okay. And fairy must be struck with fire spells to make them vulnerable to other attacks. Visit the collection to learn about enemy weaknesses. <laughs> mm. 
<laughs> oh, he didn't die. There we go. Stench of the dead. Okay. Just take the skull off of him. Why not? This is really how you sell a world like this. Oh, okay, what? What area is this? I have no idea. Okay, we have to go on foot. This could prove dangerous if I'm not careful. What are we in danger of? Rebellion. We can't even get in. It's locked. Oh well. That's like this whole world, homie. It's it's all dangerous. You can't imagine how inconvenient. Falberton Castle. Dangerous, no trolls by the Ministry of Magic. Well, the Ministry of Magic are a bunch of squares, but whatever it is, we cannot get in there yet. It seems like this is gonna be an enemy stronghold. So we just have to leave for now. Nothing we can do. Alright, that's fine. Oh, a little more? Okay. So as you can see later, we're going to have some other things that will take us over here. So that's fine. Oh, here's a pleasant surprise. Not enough Mallow Sweet. Well, I guess we won't be doing that. Should have bought some. You know why? Because I used it all on those other ones that I didn't actually solve. Eh, whatever. Looks like we'll have to pop some of these balloons as well. Place it's like this a place where the upper Hawksfield is being terrorized by Ranrock's loyalists. It's not right. I couldn't help but overhear. Did you mention Ranrock's loyalists? I did. <sighs> Never imagined they'd act this deadly. I'm Claire Beaumont, by the way. Nice to meet you. Ranrock and his followers have set up camp here. No regard for our beloved hamlet or our livelihoods. Ruthless. All right, I'll chase him out. The Bardolf dared to stand up to them and ended up in St. Mungo's. I'm simply at my wit's end. How did your brother Bardolf end up in St. Mungo's? How do you think? <sighs> Bardolf had spent the entire day hand-picking herbs and roots for us. When a group of Ranrock's lot appeared and demanded the harvest for themselves, Bardolf refused. In their anger, they held him against a rock and robbed him. The moment he left St. Mungo's, he vowed revenge. I worry he may be dabbling in Yeah, so maybe he's like a dark wizard now. He's doing, you know, weird stuff. You said Ranrock's loyalists have set up camp here. Where, precisely? To the south, across the river. Last I heard, there were several loyalists in each camp. I won't go near them. Okay. Why don't you simply leave the area for now? It's our home. Oh, the Hawksfield yeah. is my home. Baldolf and I grew up here. No, we are standing firm. Once my brother returns, then we shall decide what to do next. He's gone to seek Victor Rookwood's advice. Oh, great. Yeah, I sure. The dude that working that with him. Uh-huh. All right, well, that, this is a two-part quest right here. I'm unfortunately quite familiar with Ranrock's <laughs> loyalists. Probably the second part will be to go something. convince him to, like, you know, Much come home. I would love to be rid of them. I wouldn't want you to risk injury or worse. Please be cautious. All right. Breaking camp. Yeah, everything is locked, which I mean is surprisingly realistic. <laughs> Old rim spectacles, nice. It seems as though things are getting worse. Best be on my guard. 
Yeah, I'll say. Everywhere you go, there's Ranrock is just running wild. And Hogwarts is just not doing anything about it. The Ministry is... What is the Ministry doing? Okay, it, okay. It might not be Hogwarts jurisdiction. What is the Ministry doing? Rebellion. I should investigate. Are we investigating? Or stealing? Okay, let's get the flu flame. Handy resource indeed, your field guide. I'm most pleased to be included. Dog bog sighting, be careful. Shane Bardolph thought dark magic was the answer. I reckon Rookwood's played a hand in his disappearance. Wait, so you know that he's gone now? Like, actually disappeared? Excuse me. Did you say something about and Didn't tell your neighbor? I did. Who's his sister? I don't think we've met. I'm Dorothy Sprottle. I was just worrying about Claire Beaumont's brother, Bardolf. Only he's gone missing. Rumor is he was seen in the forest practicing dark magic. Saw him myself near some ruins with Rookwood's lot I did. I fear he got himself into trouble with the Ashwinders, especially if he made them a promise he couldn't keep. I'd help search for him myself, but no one will risk encountering Ranrock's loyalists. They seem to be everywhere. Uh, yeah, well, well we, we know why. What if he doesn't want to be Do you found? you think Bardolf may have simply run off? No. Bardolf's run that shop with Claire his entire life. He'd not give it up for anything. He swore he'd be back in a fortnight. My instincts are that he's been held captive, or worse. Okay, I'll keep an eye out. Can certainly look out for him. Any help would be appreciated. You might speak to Claire first. Perhaps she has some insights that I don't. I can tell you that Bardolf was last seen in the forest wearing a particular woolen jumper. Imagine if we already One killed him. <laughs> we already, head. like, just railroaded right through him. Claire will be at her shop if <laughs> Brother's you keeper. What am I, my brother's keeper? Yeah, the dark for what, what? Oh, you could you could have a, the page guide you there. I didn't even know that was a thing. I thought you could only display and undisplay. Oh shit! I didn't even know that was a thing. We're like ten hours in. To be fair, you know you don't really need it that much, but you know that's kind of cool. Uh, okay. Uh, wolf. <laughs> Bye. Wee. <laughs> That's funny. That's funny. Okay, what is this up here? It's like some Dragon Age music playing right now. Oh my god. Rebellion. There you go. Pumpkin Fizz. It's a fashionable carbonated drink with a pumpkin flavor as it has yet to become as popular here as butterbeer. Uh, or, I'm sorry. It has yet to become as popular here as butterbeer, but, no, well, but one never knows. Yeah, okay. I'm definitely going to increase Revelio's range. Not Maybe not right away, but we're, we're going to get there. Hmm. Seems a pleasant enough little place. Yeah, but they're not lucky enough like me to be at Hogwarts. I'm gonna have to write my own OC about what happened to my parents and why they just don't care about me anymore. Oh, he's dead. Okay. So either you have too many spells and cooldowns kind of don't matter, or just only a handful of spells are really good, and then everything else is like situational. I don't know. I guess we'll have to see what happens. You should know better than that by now. How nice. Accios. Send you. Let me also. What? I didn't want to do that. Oh, God. Oh. Dead. Sliced him in half. Whoop. You've one less follower, Ranrock. 
Yeah, take that. Yeah. You're not safe when whose man's is on the case. <laughs> I remember to swap back to my initial hot bar. Yeah, I think I'll make maybe like an AoE one and a single target one. That might be interesting. Oh shit, okay. Well, he's cursed. Oh shit. Ah! Wow, that was like all of my health. See, these guys are a little bit too heavy to move. You can't move them. Okay, that's one. The other one is over here just partying. He, he wants nothing to do with any of this. Doesn't really seem like Glacius holds them in place for a long period of time. Okay. Yeah, Glacius might not be that good. I guess we'll see what kind of upgrade I could get for it, maybe. Probably nothing that great. I mean, again, we'll have to see. Hmm. Actually, kind of hungry. I made some it's stew. Kind of dangerous if I'm not careful. It, it, it's beef stew with uh, carrots, onions. I put two whole onions in it, man. Uh, I was gonna put potatoes, but it has like pasta and stuff. I'm hungry, man. I love that. I am a really good cook. I toot my own horn. Rebellion. All right, nothing really in here then. I use a mandrake against an enemy. We need to use a mandrake against multiple enemies, so hopefully this works. I don't think I could save. Let's see. Can I save right now? Yes. Okay. I don't know if it'll work on them. That's why. Okay. That worked. Incendio. Oh shit, that's not. I should have dodged. Oh, that's a red attack? Oh my god. Yeah, the red attacks hurt, man. What? <laughs> oh, the pain! Yeah, he's dead. In case anyone wasn't paying attention, he's fucked. Oh, shit! He's high level. He's also not on fire yet. Oh, wow. I didn't take any damage on him. Yeah, Resto Momentum might be better than Glacius. Oh shit, look how far away he is. Here we go. Bring him over here. Whoop! Oh, wrong thing. <laughs> Woo! Oh, he's still falling. Look at him. Dude, I fucked him up. Oh my god. <laughs> want to know what really happened to him i bodied his ass dude see now you could do it against bosses if you're quick you could like swap them around and stuff you know you, like it worked there so that was pretty good yeah i don't know incendio has its uses i don't know if it's like really the spell i want to always bring around you know what i mean like it has usages if you're surrounded i think definitely like the the group group accio group levioso group incendio and then group push probably good enough but you might be able to Levioso and Levitate him without doing that anyway, so. 
I don't know. I guess we'll have to see. Rebellion. There you go. Chest. A teal Chinese fireball scarf. I actually bodied him the hardest. Oh, he died. He got super bodied. Yeah. Done. I wonder how many levels until they're like, you know, the usual, right? Alright, here's another Merlin trial. Yeah, so we'll have like one for groups, one for everything. Alright. So now that'll be the next thing I work on upgrading. Since now we're out in the open world, we're encountering all of this stuff. Now it's a good idea to like mess around and like you know actually like, get a good system going. What? Oh shit! Oh, these guys are higher level. Okay. I think I have to use Incendio right away, though. There you go, just kill him. Yeah, see, it, it's, it's, you have to either use it right away, and I keep wanting to get a couple hits in first. Alright, anyway. You pay for it. <laughs> oh my god, dude, I'm definitely using Confringo, man. Stupefy. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. What? Dude, you're, you're not as good at this as you think, homie. Oh, whoops. Okay. Herbology 2? Oh, okay. So now I, I got something else. We, we cleared the camp, basically. You know, there's the usual. There's enemy camps to clear out. Like, I don't really mind that this game has, like, you know, the typical, like amount of quests and side things to do I, I know this like i said when you when, I, when you're in the mindset that this game is meant to be simpler because it is like i mean let's be fair here they probably expect most of the people to play this to not be like super hardcore right done the beasts are safer now. Combat resolved. Alright, so our main quest is further out here still. Like I said, just sometimes just the combat is just fun. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. We got a spider nest. It's a little a little out of a little high level. Where are we roughly on the map? Alright, so there's a even further place up here. Maybe we could grab that. San Bakar's Tower. Pit upon four. Placed by a shallow river. Alright, well we could maybe fly over there. Let's just see what's up. I don't think anyone can like shoot you down or anything. Now that would be intense. But yeah, by all accounts, this game is pretty long. Like, it's pretty long, it's got a lot of stuff. You know, and like, again, I don't mind if a game is basic if it includes, like, a lot of the best parts of other games. You know what I mean? Like, even small things like waiting for missions, right? You'd be surprised. Oh, shit, there's enemies in this town? <clears throat> Beware spiders. Oh, great. Evidently, a spider infestation has made this area particularly treacherous 
One wonders how many areas could use a sign like this. Just a normal dog bog. Hello. Do you have a moment? Yes, but just the one, I'm afraid. <clears throat> Running the shop keeps me rather busy. I'm the new proprietor, Indira Wolf. Okay. Tell me about yourself. Can you tell me more about yourself? Oh, I haven't had a normal conversation with anyone for a while. So pardon me if I'm a little rusty. My father passed away recently, and I've been completely occupied with keeping the business afloat. I hadn't realized how much work went into running a shop. Inventories, maintenance, customers, bills, accounts, and on and on. Okay, that was uh, interesting. Let's see your wares. What do you have for sale? Do you know what you might be looking for? Feathers? They can be used to upgrade and assign traits to gear. Okay. So, so she runs an upgrade shop. That that's basically what she runs. All right, nothing major then. Thank you for your business. Hope you'll come and see me again. Let's uh, let's take a minute. What assignments do we have? Brothers Keeper. Yeah, we'll we'll do this. What else do we need to do? Clear Goblin encampments. Suggested level two. Uh, we're in a little bit of a higher level place. Practice flying near the spires and near Keenbridge Tower. What? Uh, okay, sure. We can teleport and do that later. As you can see, that's like half the world map away. You see this? Hover to reveal any hidden icons? What? Where? Oh, if, if I zoom out this far, that's why. I see. Okay. Well, well let's go get this first. Um, and we'll do breaking camp. Guess that way we have the teleport later. How nice to see you, my Apparently for Hufflepuff players, uh, Ash was actually telling me this, like, there's a, there's different, like, dialogue and there's different things depending on what class, or I'm sorry, what, uh, what house you're in. So apparently Hufflepuff players get to go to Azkaban. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> well, I wonder what Ravenclaw people get, you know? We probably get nothing. We pro I probably picked the most boring house with the most interesting backstory for my character. Oh, that'll be great. Complete waste, isn't it? I mean, but, like, do you really want to be Gryffindor? You had, like, eight movies and seven books in Gryffindor. That's just boring. Slytherin's kind of... Eh, it could have been interesting to be a Slytherin, maybe, you know? Hufflepuff? I don't know. I just think Hufflepuff's, like, seems boring. Like, you're, you're, you're... I don't know. I, I don't know. I just don't. And that's my opinion. Since everyone I know seems to be a Hufflepuff person. Which is kind of funny when you consider it. Oops, I'm rolling. What is this, leeches? Yeah. What's up, my good sir? You can't imagine how inconvenient travel was before I invented blue powder. Yeah, now I'm just allowed to use this dude's house. He's just he's out here in the middle of nowhere for a reason. And I can just show up and use his house. Concentrate on the spoils will be with us and that woman, isn't it? Oh my god. Ow, ow, ow. I have to have another one ready, that's why. You're embarrassed. Stupefy. Done. Not hard, I just, I forget that I have to change it up a little bit. It's shameful what you've done to helpless beasts. Yeah, literally pose on them like it's Arkham. Oh, 
I want to know where the Fantastic Beasts are and where to find them. Do you hear the controller when these things are honking? That's insane. All right, let's look at our spells, even though there's definitely some good core abilities. Uh, let's see. Glacius, strike an enemy frozen by a blast, damaging shards outward. That could be good. Confringo produces fiery bolts. Depulsor releases an additional blast directly around you. Uh, how about dark arts? That's the usual. Curse effect remains on enemies for longer periods of time. Dealing damage to a cursed target inflicts damage on all cursed targets. This is just like a general one. And then there's room of requirements. This is like a general thing to upgrade your items. It's mostly potions, because I guess you're just supposed to use the room of requirement as your actual potions lab. So I don't know, what do you think? Bombarda and Descendo. Flipendo's a curse, apparently. Uh, maybe group Leviosa. That could be good, yeah. I think Leviosa is going to be a better spell. Glacius could be good. Uh, obviously, I have no... I don't think we're going to be using Transformation. Okay. Let's, um... Let's teleport back now. Alright, they want me to clear out, what, these two camps? Okay. probably take a couple of days just to like roam around and do stuff but yeah every day this week i'm planning to play this game so there will be a session of one other game and then there'll be a session of this there'll be a session of one other game and there'll be a session of this maybe i'll mix it up and do this first in the day because my voice is much better than it was earlier today but that's basically what i'm gonna try to do Oi, pass that fire whiskey over here <laughs> Let me <laughs> that wasn't exactly what i was hoping for I don't even bother. Oh, well, it kind of worked. Where'd these guys come from, actually? What? There's a whole bunch of them. Holy shit. Yeah, group Leviosa is okay, I guess. The range isn't that big, unfortunately. See, he was like right there and it didn't really do anything. What? Who? Oh, okay. Stupefy! Whoop! Alright, I'm gonna change up my, my roster for sure. Your blood's on Ranrock's hands. One camp down, one more to go. Revelio. You know, we clear out like millions of these camps across all these different games, you know. It's it's <laughs> uh, I don't know. I just feel like you would think they would buff it up a little bit more. They, they just kind of out here. I mean, to be fair, no one's doing anything to them to begin with. Ranrock just gets to have the run of everything around Hogwarts. And pretty much as long as nothing happens to Hogwarts or Hogsmeade, uh, Ministry of Magic don't care. They only care when good wizards do slightly bending the rules or something. Like, I don't know. Maybe they flew a broom or something too close to a town or something like that. That's how useful they are. That's why a bunch of teenagers had to figure out how to defeat Voldemort. Because they're fucking useless. But does that really surprise anyone? The Battle of Hogwarts should just have never happened, period. Yeah, maybe uh, push the push will be better. I'm gonna grab that next as an upgrade. Yeah, that's right. You can't. 
One, oh shit! Never mind, we're doing pretty well. Thank you, you're just giving me more fuel to hit your friends with. Much appreciated. And free healing, too. Now that we're actually fighting enemies. Adam Beaumont will be glad to hear that. Yeah, we have good news. The camps are gone. The bad news is your brother is dead. And I had to kill him. <laughs> That's the bad news. Just remember, if someone says, do you want the good news or the bad news first, always say you want the bad news first. Because that way, you know, the worst thing that's happened, it can only get better, right? Unless they're fooling you. And it's like bad news, worse news. It's one thing I've learned. Always say you want the good news. Or I'm sorry, the bad news first. Never ask for the good news first. Because then you're just going to be disappointed when, oh, yeah, I had a high high. Things are going great. Oh, by the way, someone you love died. And then, yeah, you know, it kind of sucks after that, doesn't it? It's actually true though like uh, yesterday i found out that um this guy that i used to know uh he passed away unfortunately it was like rapid onset cancer or something really out of nowhere and like i i'd only talked to him a couple of times but you know he seemed like a pretty chill dude you know we he's a family friend and i was like oh you know it was fun just you know you know chatting you know older dude so he has more experience with things and it was it was nice you know and it, it's it's just unfortunate it's a shame I, I didn't i haven't seen him in like three years or so because it used to be like for cookouts and like we had a family cookout and stuff and unfortunately you know he just i found out yesterday he's, he's gone you know he's just it's very tragic and I, I i definitely feel i'm very sad you know i only knew him for a couple of days right once once a year for every so often but it's, it's rough man that's what i mean i then the good news the good news afterwards kind of was like okay but i did feel a little i was like very saddened by that you know no, that's that's the truth. I need to get a better hat. I think I don't think I've upgraded my hat in a while. Uh, we don't have any good like gloves, do we? These are like tolerable, but these are like Mickey Mouse comical. These are okay, I guess. Quidditch gloves. Hmm. Yeah, the leprechaun gloves are a little better. Okay. So yeah, always ask for the bad news first. Abandoned long ago, no doubt. What is this? Rebellion. I don't even know what I'm collecting these for. Okay. Uh, Geronimo? That solves that. Discover more ancient magic hotspots and complete their challenges to increase your magic meter capacity. Oh, okay, cool. So I have to do a few more, and then I, I probably get like a third amount of um, ancient magic, you know, insta kill. Okay, good shit. Well worth doing. So it's just hidden randomly around the overworld. I don't know if we'll be able to find a way to detect it. Shell Honey Brown. Eh, no. Alright, continuing on. Let's, uh, we'll, we'll turn this quest in. And afterwards, I only have a little bit more time to play. Um, we'll try to do as much as we can with today, and then tomorrow we'll have way more. Alright, here we go. Hello, Madam Beaumont. Good news. I was able to clear out Randall's camps. You cleared them out. 
Uh, I just surprised him. I managed to catch them off guard. When my brother returns, this new Yeah, about be. that one. Hamlet, my young friend. This will not be forgotten. I fear for other Hamlets, truly. Ranrock and his lot are unlike any goblin. About your brother. I should be going now. Yeah, I, I, I gotta go. I don't know about this one. <laughs> Thank you. Sincerely. There you go. Breaking camp. Oh, I do hope my brother is all right. Madam Beaumont, I believe I have some news of your brother. Badoff? What do you know of my brother? Yeah, tell her the truth. I regret to say that Bardolf had been turned into an inferior, and I had to kill him. What? But, but how could you possibly think that an inferior was my brother Bardolf? That's absurd. He was wearing a woolen jumper, hand knitted. <gasps> no. I mean, I either no. lie to her or you tell her the truth. I, you know me, I tell him the truth. You might need a I'm minute. I'm truly sorry. I wish it had been better news. I wish you well, Madame Beaumont. <laughs> what more could I have done? Just nothing. Oh, Unfortunate. Badolf. Obviously you can. And she's back to writing. Okay, she took it pretty well. <laughs> okay, obviously it's just, you know, it's just default behavior from her. Badolf, you wouldn't have left without saying goodbye, would you? Is the quest locked? There's a lock on her. Maybe we have to wait. Yeah, maybe there, maybe we can't interact with her. All right. So with that done, uh, we need to buy Mallow Sweet. I guess I'll get around to that eventually. Uh, what else? Was this Jackdaw's Tomb? Yeah, we already did that. We already explored it. West Forbidden Forest. Coro Ruins. There's a whole side area. Yeah, we already saw this. Yeah, Feldcroft. They said something about this before. I forget what. But we, we mentioned Feldcroft before. I, I forget. It's, it's been like, you know. Yeah. Look at all this, man. Marinwim. Clagmar Castle. Alright, so I don't know. Maybe with what time we have left, we could explore. We could try to do. Yeah, okay. We need to use that. <clears throat> um, there was something I wanted to do that I can't remember what it is now. Let's let's go back and buy Mallow Sweet, I guess, just in the interest of time. Uh, can you enter it? Now you have to enter via here. Whoops. Okay. We're gonna get tons of healing as long as I can just you know. Be mindful of what I have to do. Dodge or parry. Shouldn't need to blow too many healing potions, so I'll just hold on to what I got. Alright, let's move on. Oh, it's you! What a pleasant surprise. Okay. There you go. Only two mallow sweets. Now, you let me know if there's anything else I can help you with. Alright, let's buy this. Unlocks the ability to grow it in uh Oh, you just have to buy them once. Oh, okay. Oh, uh, yeah, we'll buy this. And it's not Dittany I need, is it? Yeah, I think it is Dittany. Okay. Now, you let me know if there's anything else I can help you with. Uh, I think we already upgraded everything, so we could sell all of this, basically. You have a good head for business, haven't you? There we go. I hope we get to see more of that, uh, uh, the blind guy. What was it, a uh, gaunt? Ominous. Ominous. So, no one can say I don't keep a stack shelf. Which is certainly not a crazy name or anything, you know. Okay, back to the world map. Sambacar's tomb. Okay, yeah, uh, let's just go, let's just do the story. That'll give us an option, or an opportunity to use the, uh, the venomous tentacula. What are you up to now? Now, obviously, as time goes on, we'll be able to do more stuff. I'm thinking I'm going to move Expelliarmus. Uh, I'm thinking that since I have this over here, right? We have Glacius. Probably going to put Depulso. I don't know. 
Yeah, you probably use Leviosa to lift. Yeah, Leviosa to lift. Maybe hit it a couple times and then slam it with, with Descendo. Mm, I don't know. Because you could pull. Yeah, maybe you just do pull and push. Maybe. So you could use lift and slam. Okay, so that will auto... Okay, maybe we use Arresto and Flipendo. That could probably be good, right? Yeah. So maybe we use Depulso here, right? Because the pull automatically lifts them a little bit, right? Yeah, see, it automatically lifts them for a bit. When Summon Ami reaches you, you will automatically cast Wind Guardian Leviosa to continue levitating and controlling it with... Oh, a summoned object. Oh, my bad. Certain magical objects require sustained effort to pull close. All right, yeah, so I'll maybe put Depulso on this one, right? So we pull him, we incendio, hit, hit. I don't know about Expelliarmus. No, but you probably want a combo that has all three, don't you? Because that way, no matter what toolbar you're on... Yeah, I don't know. It's not as simple as just putting everything on one hotbar. Yeah, maybe I'll go back to what it was. Or I could switch hot bars. I mean, that is also true. Yeah, whatever. You're gonna need damage spells no matter what. Airborne enemies, they will take even greater damage. Uh, what did I say? Flipendo and Arrestum? Yeah, Leviosa will combo with Descendo when we get it. I think we have a Descendo spell up now, right? I know what that means. A Merlin trial. Alright. What's we supposed to do with this? Just shoot them? Where else? Not around behind, maybe? I don't think this reveals anything. Or is it something to do specifically with these? Oh, okay. Now that's actually cool. I like that this is a completely different puzzle than the first initial, like, glimpse at it. There you go. <laughs> Dude, like, Counter-Strike surfing. Alright, I gotta do one more and then I can upgrade my inventory, which is obviously important. My inventory is kind of small in this game. But to be fair, you don't really need a lot of stuff anyway. You know, like, I, don't, I haven't seen a reason for it. I mean, maybe what I'll do is I'll put a Resto Momentum on this. So like the whole goal will be to pull I don't know. See, okay, I kinda I kinda wish you had like an L2 as well, but I get they want to have an aim. So I could kinda understand like the control thing. I don't know. Like four spells on this is, is kinda rough. Yeah, arrest don't we we just gotta keep going until we get more spells. Which is ideally pretty soon. <clears throat> Which is why, what do we have? Arresto Momentum, and what's the other one? 
uh, Arrested Momentum and Wing... Oh, okay, Wingardium Leviosa. Okay. I mean, maybe we should do that now. Yeah, let's do that now, actually. Let, let, let's get the spells with, with the little time that we have left. And then that way, later on... A river Troll. And that way, later on, you know, I can... I can come back and do whatever. We just need to hit someone with a venomous uh, Venus flytrap. It's a giant purple toad. For some reason, some of them are just not aggressive. So, I don't know. I guess you can capture them or something. Oh, I see. You can also throw it. <clears throat> like this. If you Only if you don't hold it, though. Like that. Get a troll with its own boulder. <laughs> I mean, I like that they're camping and not doing anything. Here you go. Rip them apart. Oh, they're too big to to kill. Oh, this could be bad. Part of the combo too. Nice. He's too big to do it, but Expelliarmus puts the curse on them, which is actually pretty good. So, even if nothing comes from it, you do more damage because of the curse. Yeah, he's too big to move. Raising expectations on Dracomba. One less foul hulking brute. Alright, sounds good. Yeah, I don't know. If only when guard uh if only Leviosa was like a, a bigger AoE. That might be pretty good. That that would be better. Alright, let's go back to Hogwarts. Oh no, let's actually do the other one. So when we go back, we only have to turn in, you only have to go back once. So we have to practice flying near the spires. <clears throat> Which are, where are they? Let's see. Dude. Ah! Unbelievable. All right. Uh, I'm a little sore. I don't know why. I guess I slept really weirdly. Ugh. How nice to see you, my young friend. I'm supposed to find them where? Oh, well, here they are. They're a little... a little obvious. Okay. I wonder if I missed, like, some of the other ones. I see. It gives you free boost, basically. Yep. Alright. Very nice. There we go. And the other one's where? What? Bro, she really sending us on a journey. Okay. Oh, no, actually, we've been down here. Keenbridge. Okay, we have been down here. Cool. I didn't even remember that. Yeah, it's like the edge of where we've been so far. Oh, there's a page here. There you go. 
Ginger Root. The barkeep in Keenbridge keeps a stock of Ginger Root to fend off his customers' nausea. Keep them imbibing a, little, a bit longer. Okay, so it keeps them from getting totally wasted. So they buy more. Okay. Beehives. The Wizarding World needs honey for the tea as much as the Muggle World does. Makes sense. Regal Black. Oh boy, here we go. go that's it all right anything over here maybe worth grabbing just while we're out because if not i guess i'll go back yeah i guess we could go down to the mind's eye flu flame there must be at least a hundred different teleports like remember even before we left hogwarts there were at least like what 20 25 30 uh teleports at hogwarts alone so now imagine this one man Resources. Could it be a Merlin trial? Yeah, in the middle of nowhere, as usual. Next to a mine, of all things. Yeah, I don't think I could do this. Whatever this green thing is. Rebellion. Yeah, I don't think I could do it. Like any of those like green sparkles. It's probably a spell I don't have yet, so. Alright. Then uh I will just keep moving on. I could pop these while I'm here, right? I'm gonna have to come back here and pop them at some point. Seems like she's gonna give us like either you know more bonus things or what. I don't think we're learning any curses from the teachers. I, I I don't remember a lot about Harry Potter, but I'm pretty sure the teachers did not teach them unforgivable curses. Like Snape might have been a dick, but I don't think Snape was teaching people unforgivable curses. It's inside the mine. Or whatever this is. I actually don't know how to get to it. Oh, here we go. Right here. Right here. Yep. This is an Expelliarmus rune. Expelliarmus. Uh, yep, I guess. It kind of looks like it, right? sure what else I need to do to enter it. Maybe I need to upgrade it in order to get in. That could be it. Because it like half opens. <laughs> Alright, I guess I have to upgrade it. Or either bring something else, or who knows. I, I just wanted to get the fast travel. That's the only reason I wanted it. I mean, they give another route to it. Uh, yeah, it doesn't work. Okay. Alright, well, let's see what else we can get. 
since that's a no go. Is it, oh, you know why? It looks like it's gonna be it's gonna take us through here, right? Tomb of Treachery. Okay, so I guess we're not doing that. So I, maybe that's why. It also might be another way to like another area later on. So. Slice a dangling dug bog. Okay, and after this we'll go back. Just so we can get this. Honk! Oh, there it is. What? I broke it by running into it. Damn! You I've always said can you help travel me? broadens the mind. Okay, sure. What is it? What's wrong? Goblins! That's what. Radrock's lot. Nasty creatures. Ambush me, they did. Nothing safe anymore. I need a little something. Something to protect me if I run into them again. Maxima potion. That would do it. I don't have any. I don't have any of that. Perhaps you could try in Hogsmeade or one of the hamlets. And get extorted by the Ashwinders? No, thank you. <sighs> if you won't help me, I shall have to take my chances, won't I? Yeah, I guess that's on you, buddy. How am I to avoid... Alright, so in other words, I need to get a Maxima Potion and an Invisibility Potion for these two. I don't know if I'll remember... I don't even remember where the lady is. So let me go back. <clears throat> Let's go turn this in now. I gotta go back to Hogwarts. There you go. This area... Boom. Oop. I like how it will literally let you put a, a fast travel from halfway across the map. That's kind of funny, actually. Welcome back. Have Reporting you... back, Professor. Assignments all finished. Well done. Shows good discipline. Yep. Wisdom is a golden snitch, as they say. And you're proving a skilled seeker in that regard. Uh, thanks. Let us practice our restore momentum. A charm, incidentally, created to stop quaffles from plummeting straight to the ground during a Quidditch match. Okay. Momentum. There you go. So this will slow anything. All right, nice. Slows the motion of enemies and objects. The larger the target, the less effect it will have on it. Okay, accept. Very good. I recommend practicing your new skill. Perhaps before you leave here. All right, we'll do it just to hear the dialogue. Um. Arrest the momentum. That's it. There you go. Keep Slow time. Very good. All right, so when we turn in this for garlic, we'll be good. What's she gonna teach us? Get oh, Wingardium. Yeah, that'll be the final uh, utility spell. So let's go turn that in, and then I actually—that's all the time I will have, sadly. Uh, here we go. So far, hundred. Okay, so she's in the greenhouse. Since no one ever sleeps in this game. That would have been something that they could have thrown in. I see why they wouldn't, right? Like the whole, oh, day-night cycle, you're on a schedule or something. I, I could see it. Do You know, am I upset that it's not a thing? Not really. Again, I think they want this to be a more light-hearted, you know, carefree style of game. I don't, I don't think they want people to, like, really have to do, like, a lot of, oh, I have to monitor time. And so, like I said, this is a game made for casuals. More first and foremost, you know? More so than almost any game I could really think of in the last couple of years. There we go. Oh, that's a little scary. Well, I'm glad Garlic has a good fun time with her class. How that's good. How wonderful to see you again. I've completed my assignments, Professor. Pleased to hear it. Professor Weasley will be too. I'll be sure to let her know how well you're coming along. Thank you, Professor. 
Professor Hecate tells me she taught you Levioso, so you should be ready for a more advanced levitation charm. Guardian Leviosa requires a bit of concentration and a nice, graceful wand movement. Let's see you try your hand at it. Was well, it going to be a if W? Correctly, you should be able to pick no, up okay. boulders as though they were sprigs of sneezewort. Okay, when Guardian Leviosa. Levitation Charm when Guardian Leviosa can levitate and move objects. Control its position with your movement and use up, down, left, or right to fine tune its distance and rotation. Well done. Okay. When Guardian Leviosa. Okay, you have to hold it. So this moves it closer to you, away. Rotate, and then up or down is with the right stick. And then turning turns it. Gotcha, and it moves with you. Okay, I see. There you go. Maximum potion, which is good. I can go give it to that guy. I'm going to go do that right now before I forget. Because I know if I leave now, I'm going to forget. And then I'm never going to do it. So, where was this dude again? There you go, right here. All right, and the next time when we play, uh, we'll pick up from this. So this has been good. What are you up to now? Just delivering this to some random stranger. What is it? What's wrong? Goblins. That's what. Okay. Radrocks lot. Nasty creatures. Ambush me, they did. Nothing safe anymore. I need a little something. Something to protect me if I run into them again. Maxima potion. That would do it. There you go. You're right. The world's not safe at the moment. It's best to take precautions. Here. Use it wisely. Oh, I will. You can be sure of that. When I try to kill you, you yeah. take me down. <laughs> and I've you to thank. There you go. He gives Please. us. So now we have the invisibility potion we could give to that crazy lady. I don't even remember where she was. So that's good. We traded a maxima potion for some healing and a couple other things. So where was the uh, the crazy lady? Up here, maybe. No, that was the black dude. It wasn't this. North Fort Bog Entrance. Upper Hogsfield. Maybe it was one of these. Alright, let, let's look. What is this? No, not the castle. Eastern Hogsmeade. Handy resource indeed, your field guide. I'm most yes, here we go. Included. What seems to be the problem? You may well ask. I wonder what a Grim is. It's not a Dementor, room. right? And of death. Yeah, it's unfortunate. I don't think we're going to get to summon Patronus in this game. That, that's me, fine, though, but eh. right, I want to get my, like, dragon or phoenix persona. Oh, I'm sorry. Yes, Patronus. Excuse me. I need. There you go. Well, as it happens, I have what you need. Here. Not sure it'll help you, though. Be careful, won't you? Oh, you're a gem, you are. I'll be sure to be very careful. And you be careful, too. No Grim is going to get me. Thanks to you, kind child. Very nice. All right. I must we got a Maxima Potion back. <laughs> so we really didn't lose anything. We actually just gained. We gained healing and we gained more potions. All right. So with that, this two-hour session comes to a conclusion. Next time I'll try to do like another four-hour session. I think that will be pretty good. So we'll try to do like a four-hour session tomorrow. And then maybe like a two-hour session of something else on the side. Um, I think that'll be good. And then we'll try the first trial. We'll probably lead off with the story and then gradually, you know, maybe explore more areas, look for more stuff. So, all right, very nice.